seventh in Division 3 this afternoon. The given gets things underway, Ian Muir, and there's a straight chance for Tony Thomas, and Romans has scored! Within seconds, that's got to be one of the quickest goals I've ever seen. Ten seconds gone, Ian Muir releases Tony Thomas, and South End cannot believe it. Tony Thomas threw on goal, beat Paul Sampson, gives the keeper no chance. A great ball from Ian Muir, who's recalled back to the side this afternoon. His place, Steve Cooper and Ian Muir. <laughs> Silence the critics straight away. Rovers ahead after 10 seconds. Rain heavily coming down here. Frenton Park. It's going to be Steve Wilson with the corner. Plenty of big fellas to aim for in the box. Look for number 11, Breath Angel. He's actually gone for Angel and scored. There's the equaliser. Well, I'm sorry, but I probably tempted a little bit of fate there. I did say that Breath Angel was the danger man. And Rovers did not mark up, and Southend United are back in the game with only 10 minutes gone. Butler, a lot of space, telegraphed by Harvey. A two foot of challenge on the channel of Skipper, and he's not happy with it. And really, Peter Butler's been in the thick of most things that have happened. As far as the legal challenges have been concerned so far this afternoon. The free kick to Rovers, quickly taken by Hughes. Harvey inside for Steele, pushing the back. On Steele, the referee plays an advantage, Morrissey, he turns the defender, good play, and good advantage played by the referee, there's two in the box, too far, the two of them, in fact, is kept in by Austin, Steele's cross, yeah! person you've got to applaud there was the referee. He played a very good advantage, allowing the play to carry on down the right. Morrissey thwarted the defender, Chris Powell, crossed it in. Dean Austin couldn't clear. Jim Steele knocked it back, and there was Ian Muir on hand to put the ball in the back of the south end net. 2-1 Premier lead. Harvey's header down to Steele. Now down the left-hand side is McNabb. Running through the middle this time is Morrissey against Austin. And what Austin strips, right underneath the referee's nose, but no foul given. Pushed too far as far as Tommy are concerned. Steele. Out to the right is Kenny Iron. Couldn't control it this time, could Ian Muir. And Steve Vickers wasn't waiting for Brett Angel on that occasion and did well with a good challenge. Brennan. Steele's looking for the... Flick down, he finds Morrissey. Morrissey's in a shooting chance. Oh, what a goal! Oh, that was a beaut! Pick that one out of there! Johnny Morrissey, the substitute for the leftless Tony Thomas, puts in an absolute beaut from the edge of the 18 yard box, creating his own space after the knockdown by Jim Steele and buried it way beyond Paul Stanson in the South End United goal. 3-1.